Oh, uh, I overdid it. That lunch. You did? Yeah. Yeah, you just ate like a full cow mm. <laughs> with hummus and fried mm. stuff and, and onions. Those are great though. They're really refreshing. And you like that you're, they're not, because you don't like gum. These are good. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't like gum and I do like these. Because they go away. You don't have to continually chew. Exactly. Exactly. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, I don't know if you can see. Can they see Adrian in the back? There's, uh, there's our friend Adrian. He's, he's eating lunch. We've told him he's not allowed to talk. Um, any channel news? No, because this is a part this two a of duel. the two. This, mm -hmm. is a duel. this is a duel. <laughs> Season five, I thought got off to a great start. And I see that there's going to be Kelly Catrone, which I Back think in the is mix. good for us. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Kelly Catrone is my favorite impression. Is this the one we're on? 502A? 503. 503? Mm -hmm. Didn't we just watch the premiere? Nope. Oh. Previously on The Hills. After Stephanie brought Heidi to my birthday party, I had to set her straight. All she wants is her best friend. Back. I had to scare the shit out of her. <laughs> stop. You have to stop pushing it on me. I'm not kidding. Heidi found out that Spencer was hitting on a bartender. What gets you up on the bar dancing? You pour some sugar on me all day. I love that song. You. Oh my god, so those American Apparel tank tops were all the rage into an at that point. You're engaged? No. Also, oh, there's still hope. <laughs> Mom. And while she was gone, Spencer went right back to the source of all the trouble. This is the end of the evening. Yeah. What are we gonna do? Now Heidi was about to come home, and the trouble was only going to get worse. Oh, you told Stephanie she could wear a hat. <laughs> the door was open. It doesn't mean come in if you're not invited. Oh, they they have major oh. beef. <laughs> they don't have Did you leave your train out front? That matches that hat. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Have you talked to Heidi? Nope. I got a text from her, and there's some guy named Colby that she ran into. A guy uh, named Colby. Uh, sounds like he's engaged, anyways. <laughs> Not Does. available. Her like high school boyfriend. That her mom is like trying to talk her into dating. Who she did date? Who she like used to like Bible study every day with and like ski the slopes with? It's so, like <laughs> go for it. Have you seen the bartender again? Sounds lovely. Yeah, because that's really your business, what I've been doing and who I've been seeing. Thank you. I now know what Heidi's up to. And you know what I think about all that? I'm going to start going out, too. And you should just be on your best behavior right now. That was Stephanie just taking my role at People's Rev with that look and that setting. Oh, I wasn't watching. I was doing a dance. Uh oh. Yeah, you're out, huh? How do you feel? Out, out. I'm good. I'm in New York, living it up. <clears throat> you know I use Jump the Shark wrong? Uh-uh, I didn't know that. F Matt Lally corrected me. He was like, ah. Uh, Jumping the shark is actually like, <laughs> he was like, when a show is on its last legs and it, it does something like desperate and lame to try and regain lost glory. Uh -huh. And I said it was when a show had peaked. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right, well. Well, like we haven't done either. No. This show, <laughs> I think, is about to jump the shark. But I don't think it's peaked yet. You don't think it's peaked? Maybe I it think has it's peaked. peaked. I okay. think it's peaked. Right. I think it's like on a little bit of a down slope. Right. I mean, we don't know it only has this season and then one more. Or is this the last season? No, I think. Oh, wait. At the wedding. I think this is maybe the last season because the wedding isn't the wedding, the finale episode, and then like the backdrop. We goes. don't even have Kristen yet. Oh, there's we another don't even season. Have... There you the go. Five. Yeah. Got to the bottom of that quick. <laughs> Thank God. What's this episode called? I'm done with you. Not me though. Who's done with who? Heidi's done with Spencer. You think? Stacy the bartender's done with Spencer. That's Kelly's bad. done with someone who works for her. <laughs> Lauren? Hey. 
Hi. Hi. It's a nice shirt. Thanks. Is that one of our clients? No. It's pretty. Thanks. Nice. It's very 20s. So I'm nice. trying to figure out what we're going to do about Whitney they don't being do gone. Scenes together. I'm thinking we should probably add another intern. So just as an intern, just yeah. extra help? Somebody who's honest, somebody who's committed, way, who knows how to support. You need way more to replace you. you do you have like, any friends that fit them? Yeah, I know some people that would probably love to work here. Okay, just be careful about who you refer, especially if they're your friends. Okay. Cool. Like, I have Don't an worry. ongoing beef with this girl, Stephanie. Should I <laughs> should I make her the f***ing intern? I literally just yelled at her at the fabric <laughs> shop. <laughs> She's in fashion. We were at the fabric store. I screamed at her, so I'll probably, it's probably a good idea that we work together. <laughs> they should have called me for a referral. Should have got Jade or Paige. That would have been cool. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Yeah. Don't you feel like you always have to stay like in shape living here? It's a baggy shirts are for. Dresses. Mm. Oh, we got some really cute stuff and it worked today. So what's going on? At People's Revolution. Well, I think that they're like looking to hire someone new as in like, in, like an intern or like someone smaller to kind of get smaller. familiar with the company. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's time <laughs> for me to leave my internship. Well, you should do several internships while you're at school. How does one apply to People's Revolution, if you catch to my be, drift? Yeah, to, <laughs> to be honest, it's pretty much like any other job. I'm sure a hundred people want that job. Well, I mean, probably more. I She's like, Lauren, don't you work there? <laughs> <laughs> like, Lauren's like, you could probably go on, on um, What's it called? She's like, trying, have you tried Indeed? Have you tried LinkedIn? Like, I really can't offer any help. It's just like any other job that I happen to work at. I'm nervous about, like, getting a new job. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not getting ahead of myself. Like, I know you haven't even agreed to be friends with me again. <laughs> yeah, I know you just paid to be friends with me. <laughs> oh, my God. Were those, those were definitely my legs because I had those moccasins, too. <laughs> I got them in Missouri and I was like, I'm gonna bring moccasins to LA. Did it work? Yeah, moccasins were a big trend. You started, you were saying you started the moccasin trend? I mean, I'm not gonna go on record and say that, but like, I feel like I had a big part. <laughs> Why not? You're on, the, you're on the biggest TV show, but they never, <laughs> did they show you on the TV show in the moccasin booth? Um, Just B-roll. Uh, I remember I wore them with that, didn't, yeah, yeah, I wore them with that fairy dress to Big Wings, then remember? You, then you can take a good amount of credit because this was such a massive popular show. <laughs> were moccasins even a trend or did I make that up? I mean, they I invented zip-up hooded sweatshirts <laughs> in fourth grade. So we all, we all have a hand in fashion. Is that you, Heidi? Yes. When did you get here? You didn't want to call and tell me you were coming home? I thought you knew when I got back. Well, how was your trip? How was my favorite person, Darlene? We kind of talked about the bar incident, and she said we should be able to not be having these problems. You're just such a hypocrite. I am just dating Miss Hypocrite. Why did, she, after did Darlene like punch someone? A little hangout with your ex-boyfriend. <laughs> I was at dinner with my family, and he came over and said hi. So I didn't plan on seeing him. So you're trying to tell me if the roles were reversed, you wouldn't flip out like you did with the bartender? Taking shots with a bartender is a little different than having dinner with your family and seeing someone come in and just say hello and then leaving. Yeah, that's really very true. Taking shots is <laughs> kissing someone. It's like, I didn't even know you had these sides to you. Yeah, I didn't know you had a side where visiting your mom was going out to dinner with your high school boyfriend. I didn't boyfriend. go out to dinner with him. Stop what? saying that. I'm just so sick of fighting. I, hey, you know what? You left for three days, and I was just like, wow, this is three days without fighting. This is very refreshing. Wow. Wow. I mean, did you see her while I was gone? I kind of feel like this is how they really feel, and they use this show to like pretend like they're not being real. But and, like after the mm -hmm, scenes, mm -hmm. they're like, "Don't worry, I didn't really mean that. Mm -hmm, it was just for the mm -hmm, show." But mm -hmm. like they really say the mm -hmm. things, these mean things to each I, other. I, yeah. Do you sort of see what I'm saying? I, I completely understand. I mean, mm -hmm. I think that they. It's always a mix. It's real, and they're playing a role. But there's definitely times where the line gets blurred, and one doesn't know if the other one is, or they're they're pretending to play a role and secretly saying things they really feel. It's a horrible yeah. idea to do this. Yeah. Like, even if they, it's if it's they're pretending, it's mm -hmm, just a horrible. Mm -hmm. 
move. It's, I think, probably the reason why most, like, couples on reality shows don't necessarily stay together. But they are the exception. That proves the rule. Yeah. Well, it's like we finish each other's sentences. Yeah, I didn't know you had a side where visiting your mom was going out to dinner with your high school I boyfriend. I didn't go out to dinner with him. Stop what? saying that. He I'm just so sick of fighting. Hi. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Look how long his jeans are. <laughs> yeah, so nobody long. cared about the length of jeans in the early 2010s. <laughs> no one was getting them tailored or like... They're just like, it. I'll just walk on them. <laughs> Until they rip at the bottom and get black. <laughs> People were disgusted. I never had that problem with jeans, though, because for women, they never made them, mm. like, long. Your legs are so tall. That's long. true. Long? <clears throat> Whatever. Here we go. I mean, did you see her while I was gone? Are you really even asking this discussion? Are you really even asking this discussion? Because it's drill. <laughs> it's drill. Yeah, but also, the, his phrasing. Are you really asking this discussion? What the f*** been talking about, dude? Are you having a stroke? <laughs> His um, hair and facial hair ratio, length ratio, I, I appreciate it this time. Some <laughs> people like, I haven't even noticed. Like, like, that's, that's good. I think that's a good move for him. Like, one, uh, like a millimeter too short on the facial hair or long, and he's like a completely different sea monster. I mean, did you see her while I was gone? Are you really even asking this discussion? <laughs> yeah, I am. Did you? Heidi. <laughs> no. <laughs> They're acting. I just don't know what to say to you. I don't even want to talk to you anymore. I think the fight started as real, and then they were like, okay, guys, great. You got into a real fight. Can we milk it like you did for seasons one, two, three, and four? And they're like, yeah. yes, we can. Yeah. I want to know what kind of lip gloss Heidi's using. Find out. I'm like kind of really into like a very glossy lip these days. Okay. Stephanie looks uber profesh. Very profesh. People's window looks, people's revolution. Looks blocked out. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Nervous. You look cute. I feel like that flower in her hair is sort Fashion. of like uncharacteristic mm -hmm. of her, right? A little more Whitney style. <laughs> yeah, I spent all night fixing my resume. Yeah, you ready? All night? Like, how many things could she have? On <laughs> She's like, fit him. <laughs> what should I put first, high school or college? I want that jacket right there. Hey, Kelly, Stephanie Pratt's here. Send her up. Hi. Hi. How are you? I've heard a lot about you. I'm Kelly. Stephanie. You look very professional today. Okay. Good. You okay? I'm really nervous. You, are, you seem nervous. <laughs> I haven't done an interview in a really long time. Red flag number one. This is my resume. <laughs> I don't really read resumes, but I'll read yours since you brought it. We got it in an envelope. Uh, my in rejected. <laughs> like I thought you could mail it to yourself, and then it, when you got home, it would be there, and you could read it again when you got home. <laughs> in an envelope. Also, I don't really read resumes. There are two things that happen just that are crazy. <laughs> I have a handbag line, so I really wanted to work here just to see, um, you have a lot of like great designers here and uh -huh. the PR that you guys do is really awesome. And <laughs> I just want to like see how I could brand my bags. So you basically want to okay. use uh -huh. my experience and my clients and their inside knowledge to ultimately leave here and go make your own handbag no, line? No, 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 oh, no, no. Okay. I mean, this is like eventually like in a decade. I mean, I'm planning to like work like a lot of you different You should be jobs. able to move quicker than that, honey. Oh, I mean, man. these kids have life goals, but I'm running a business. Yeah. So I'd like to know more about what your goals are. How do you know about people's revolution? I've heard a lot about it from Fidem. And um, is that where you go? You just can't really start an interview. Interview tip here: you mm -hmm. just can't really start an interview by saying like, "I eventually." I mean, I guess everybody's entitled to have their own ho hopes and goals and dreams for themselves, but you can't really start an interview being like, my plan is to just come here and then leave. Yeah, you can't be like, I want to gain all the information here to uh, start my own clothing yeah. line. But like, she was like, what are your goals? And she's like a still in college person who can be like, my dream is to have my own fashion yeah, line one yeah, day and that's not totally threaten fair. Kelly's business. That's totally fair. She's Kelly's like, just yeah. giving her a hard time because yeah. the producers were like, you're Kelly Catron. And she's like, got right, it. Right, right, so How do you right. use a computer? Yeah. 
You know how to print labels and all of those things? Print labels? Yeah, like, you know, you get a label, you put it in the printer, you set it up on the list, it comes out the machine. And then you, is it stickies? <laughs> Oh, Stephanie! No, I just no. I'm, I don't know how to do that one task, but, but like, like I'll learn I'll it in it five out. seconds, yeah. and I can do it for forever. Yeah, I don't know if I could figure that out right no, now. No, I could but not. But in an interview, I'd be like, yes, of course. Like I would just fake it. Fake it till you make it. I have never done that, but it sounds simple enough. Okay. And tu peux français? Oui. Nice. Ne. Ce ne se peut pas parler avec moi dans le français seulement. Do you speak French? Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm just, so, I'm terrified. You know, I'm gonna tell you like straight yeah, up, she's there's frozen, a rule like, that you cannot panicking. cry in this office and there are gonna be 75 million things that make you cry every day. Whatever it is, mm. no nervousness in crying horrible. in my office. That's good, I want a strong backbone. So I'm ready for this. Are you sure? Yes. Not by this resume, honey. Not by this resume. She's like, and you're hired. <laughs> <laughs> it's like none of this led to that conclusion. <laughs> But you know what? I'm gonna go out on a flyer. Maybe she doesn't get the job. She definitely gets the job. I saw it in the, this season on. Oh. Huh. Oh. Spencer. Charlie. Uh, 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 oh, they're listening to this song. I wonder what this song was. Get away from Heidi, good man, dude. Thanks for coming out. Well, we are gonna have fun tonight. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's like, are we gonna have fun? We meet in some jeeps there? Well, last time we were at the Dime, Stacy said this was the night her and her posse roll out, so I oh, think. Oh, words. She, she brings loves some to wear behind I'm sure she's bringing some friends, and I'm sure there'll be lots of friends out of the club for us to have a good time with. Well, don't get caught slipping. Slipping what? I don't slip, homie. You don't slip, you trip, you flip. Houses yeah, like, like pancakes. Let's go to the low key cutty H wood spot. This place goes off. <laughs> he just made his debut. Yeah, he's Charlie like, Charlie oh, just. You guys are gonna give me a microphone? I'm gonna say some crazy <laughs> shit this time. Yeah. Let's go to the low key cuppy flippy dop. All right, hey guys, am I on the show? Can I be on the show? Adrian, I feel like you know oh him. God. No, I'm like that guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, Adrian, this is your chance. <laughs> Hippy flippy dippy <laughs> shit. Can I be on the show, guys? Can I be in the open? I'm Charlie. Can I be in the open? Can I be in the open? What's going on? Lauren got me an interview with Kelly Catron, and I brought a resume, and she was like, I don't usually look at these. And I was like, okay, this is not gonna be a normal interview. No. It was actually terrifying. Well, that was so nice of Lauren to get you that interview. Yeah. I'm not gonna be friends with you. Have you heard anything from, um, your brother lately? And you haven't talked to him all day? No. Spencer has like this secret life. Right now he's latching on to Charlie and trying to see what that's like. Charlie's a bad influence. Spencer was really? even going to the bar before Charlie brought. Spencer never went out. He no. was like a good stay-at-home boyfriend, husband material. Where is he right now? I think he's at a club somewhere. Well then let's go out. Where should we go? To the same Every one. Every single club that would be good tonight. <laughs> and we'll so find him. You think we'll find him? I don't even want to see him. You need to know where he is right now. Okay, so I'm gonna narrow it down. My house, probably not Coco de Ville. Um, the I don't brick. Know, really, just could be one of those. Oh, H Wood just opened up. H Wood, Panda Bear, yeah. Ottoman, Sandbar. Portrait of my mom. Where was H Wood? Probably in Hollywood. <laughs> like specifically what street I dog you f asshole adrian laughed he knew ah! specifically what street uh, i don't even know sycamore Psh, you don't even know i don't know any street look at those huge shots i'm what song do you want to request hey Sheena. i think it's shane not to correct. Shayna! You know Sh Shayna. Shayna Shay, who also dated some, or was married to a man named Shay. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That was so confusing. But she was the one that hooked up with um, Brandy Glanville's husband, right? That Who's now with Leanne Ryan. Claim to infamy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I would love to go back and watch Vanderpump Rules. She just had a baby. Congrats, Shayna. Hey, I like the vibe here. It's very chill. It's like my living room without the headache. <laughs> We're gonna cheers to Spencer and his great girlfriend, wife. 
Cheers to Heidi. We're still happy you come out tonight. It's a pleasure to be out here. I mean, Stephanie's, Stephanie the bartender's behavior is unexplainable, except she's trying to be on the show. Yeah, exactly. She's wearing that vest again. <laughs> well, she's coming from the same place. No. Uh, oh, Stephanie. Yeah. <laughs> That's her vest. It's like a going out look, you know? It's like, I don't want to wear a jacket. He's here. Is that her? Yeah, and it looks like they're on a double date, so... Oh. I think I have a GPS tracker in my car. Everyone just stay calm. Just stay calm. There's Mitch. <gasps> oh my God, yeah. Hanging out with friends. Are you kidding me? I had to find you. Mitch, get out of the shot, Mitch. He's like, where's the camera? Mitch is our friend, such producer. Stacy here. Are you producer guys friend. dating? Are you having more Yo, shots? Ivy, why don't you chill out? This is none of your business. No, so really? why don't you stay Ooh, Charlie. what you're doing? Your man's just having hey. a night out. He hasn't done sit, anything. Sit, why don't you down. chill out? Sit down. Charlie, Charlie, seriously, sit you down. You're the worst down. influence ever. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Like, these are the people you're just, hanging out with? He knows I haven't are been you? doing We're anything. We're just saying Oh, oh yeah. Join you're us. really just hanging out. Join, Join you. Can I join this double date? Because that would be so much fun. There's nobody's dating. Wait, she's there. Yeah. How skeezy. Look at how she's dressed. She's obviously a slut. Oh! Oh. I wish I could do that thing. I can't do it either. Uh, <laughs> ouch. What did you say? Now you're a home wrecker. What? Oh, what? What? What are you doing with my sister in law's husband? Stop, stop. Stop, 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 please. Excuse my sister. She's not housebroken, my sister. That's your sister? That's my sister. I mean, I'm done, so. Where's the loyalty, Spencer? Don't call me, don't talk to me. I want nothing to do with you. I can't believe you're doing this right now. Let's go. <gasps> Big time. Mm -hmm. Someone just waved to Stephanie on the way out. <laughs> like, I don't want to talk right now. <laughs> Oh, hey, hey, girl. <laughs> Wowzies. Yeah, that was great. That was great. Mm -hmm. That was great. What are you doing up? I'm just, my mind has been racing, and I can't believe I'm in this situation. She has That's so much pretty. gall to do that. And she's all trying to sit close mm -hmm. to him and kind of. now, I'm going to focus all their attention on. Stacy, the bartender. Yeah, that's like, not right. Damn, it's like I called Stacy a homewrecker. I know. I told was, her to put on pants. That was amazing. She was making like the public area like uncomfortable by like wearing no clothes. And what is he doing? Right, you like saved the day. He blames this whole Stacy everything situation on me because he says it's my fault because I ran into Colby when I was in Colorado. I mean, love doesn't make sense, and no one ever said it was easy. You know, I think every single couple goes through these stages. No, I mean, I'm done. I'm breaking up with him. Like, I, this is it. Unless you I'm guys so get professional right. help and, like, see a therapist, Heidi, it's... I mean, everyone in L.A. has a therapist. It's not, like, that weird of something to suggest. I, I don't even... There's no future. And I don't know if he would see a therapist or if that would even help because I think we might be way beyond that. Give him an ultimatum. No, are you buying, just I mean, make it an easy choice buying for Heidi right now? Therapy. Or done. I just don't even know if I want to give him that ultimatum. It's like too late. How many chances do you get? Yeah. This is a not nice situation for me now. Yeah, because she would be much more upset if this were actually right. I wouldn't like. Would be hitting the therapy beat mm -mm. like to set up for like, okay, mm -hmm. and then they'll see a therapist mm -hmm. for three episodes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Did you just see something you liked? Well, that girl's dress was so short. I missed it. Oh. I don't care about things like that though. Like a few you're decked out. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt you. Can I talk to you for one second? I want to talk to you about... Oh, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. Look what her objective is. Objective, design handbags. She wants to be a handbag designer. I know, but you don't bring in... in I mean, I was trying to be nice about it and not laugh in her face, but it's you like... You did laugh in her face. I'm like, why would you bring a resume that says you want to be a designer of handbags to... An well, interview I think, at a PR company. You know what, company. she probably misunderstood. She probably thought objective kind of like her goal for her personally, not so much at the moment. I know, but mm -hmm. come on. I've gone to school with her for a while and just in classes. Uh -huh. She does work hard. I don't think you've ever heard me say this, but I'm scared. My inclination is to let her try it just because oh. it, the interview was such a folly that she could be genius. Oh. <laughs> I think it's that like, she really, really wants the job. 
And I mean, I think she can do it. Well, you know, if she makes mistakes, that you're going to be her superior. It's like the only I'm reason that makes sense to you. <laughs> <laughs> and if she does up, I'm going to make. Like, you. It was so bad, it was good. She went all the way around the clock and got. Back to 11, 59, and now it's, it's, she crushed it. She crushed it. She was so bad she was good. <laughs> and now you're responsible for her. And if she does up, I'm going to make you fire her, because I'm not going to be the one to do it. So if it doesn't work out, you can nix her. OK. Lauren's like, I have an idea. Don't hire her. Yeah, I don't want to have to fire her. <laughs> OK? You might want to kiss her on the cheek, but I put a gun to her back and make sure she stands up straight. No, okay. stop, okay. stop, stop. Like, you basically, you may want to no, give her puppy need love, I don't need but. I not really explain. I'm just saying she said some like crazy shit. Lauren's probably like, Bleh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, dog. She just went like gray. Like, this is my last season. Yeah. So I'm... You guys do whatever. The yeah. For the next Ooh, door. It's been there in so long. Is it still open? Adrian, we used to go there a lot together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need to talk. How are you? How do you think I'm doing? Ooh. You never came home last night. I know. How do you think I should think that you're doing? Yeah, Stephanie's house. I'm surprised you even noticed. Did you, you go home last night? I was talking to Stephanie and she was saying that maybe therapy would help. I'm not taking advice from my sister who's seen multiple therapists and look at her. They yeah. didn't help her. She's in way better shape than you. Oh, ho, 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 ho. come on up. If you want me to come home, you will. I mean, I just think it's ridiculous that you really expect me to go talk to some random stranger just because they went to an extra year of school. They get to tell me how I should live my life. Do you know how good attitude. that was for me last night? You don't even get up to come talk to me? Wasn't gonna deal with that drama. The therapist doesn't tell you how to live your life either, but that's just like a it's ignorant a understanding of therapy. Don't yeah. let Spencer stigmatize therapy for you guys. I mean, I just can't even believe that Stacy's hand is practically on your knee. I mean, and dress like that, like obviously she doesn't have a boyfriend. She couldn't even be closer to you if she tried to. Like, how many times have you even seen her? Yeah. How many times have you if seen I her? drink as much as all my friends did, I would see her every night. She's the bartender at the bar, one Do block from her. Do you see her every night? I've seen her three times three in my times. life. Three times? I'm done with you, I'm done with this, I'm done with... You blow everything so out of proportion. No, I'm not. This is not out of proportion. And the fact that you're sitting here and not apologizing to me and don't even see what you're doing is so crazy to me that I can't even look at you right now. I don't want to look at you. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to be near you. So if you care about me and you want to be in this relationship, get your stuff together and go to the therapist or else get out of my life because I'm done with this. Woohoo! They should have sent, like, a waiter in. <laughs> you know, I'm like, Err. Sorry, guys. Hey guys, nice. would you like something else? No, we're done. Oh, she's talking about the relationship. Mm -hmm. You better go to therapy. You better. I'm not gonna let someone who has a job and went to an extra year of school and like sits behind a desk tell me what to do when, cause I know what I need to do. She's out of here. Out of here. Look at her shoes. That was a major moment, Heidi. We did it, babe. Ooh. I don't know. I don't. If you're really saying that we need to go see a More therapist to save our relationship. We are. Tell her something you feel right now. I feel like I'm in a nightmare. I'm happy <laughs> to have you interning here, but not at the expense of my clients. I want to feel special, and you don't make me feel like that. You are beautiful. You should be happy. Thank you. He is very good looking. And like, you catch each other's eye, and you feel that attraction. Cool. Lauren's like, cool, cool, cool. I quit. Yeah. Who called you? Um, Marin, the girl from um, VRBO. Oh, sorry. Hey, hey. Adrian, play a tiny little guitar. Oh, song ended. You're out of the show.
Uh, thank you guys for joining us. Thank you so much. That was a really good two episodes. It was a good two episodes. Mm -hmm. And I enjoyed being with you. Yeah, we're, we're in a great place. We got a lot of things to do. Mm -hmm. We're going to go do them. Costco run. Level Sunny list party at the end planning. Of an episode. Um, we have to do a little bit of organization of like just all my stuff that's around the house. You got to fix your um, credit. I have to fix my credit score. Because of one unpaid bill. To yeah. a hospital. To a hospital. But I don't even want to think about that I know, visit. That's awful. Um, but that just goes to show you guys one thing: just f get hold of your credit. Get a hold. Yeah, your credit's important. I have impeccable credit. That wasn't even as, as impeccable as I thought because I let I, I had two late car payments in my entire life. That's Maybe. pretty good. I have so many late payments. I have you to can't. actually go you through something do, right now. You can't have late payments. We will never again. It's okay. I love you. Love you. <laughs> Adrian, say thank you. Is he in focus? I can't yeah. see. Yeah. Am I not in focus? Not anymore. How about now? Just tell him thank you for watching. <laughs> what did he say? I hate you? <laughs> oh my God. All right. Is he embarrassed? He did his best. He did his best. Subscribe, like, ring the bell, and stay tuned for next week's episode. And merch, maybe. I don't know. Really? Who knows?